in July, we went to Annecy, an alpine town also known as the Little Venice of the Alps, to visit a dear friend of us, Clara. When we arrived, we visited the bustling old city of Annecy, with its cobble streets, winding canals, pastel colored houses, and overlooking castle. By luck, we even found a splendid street performer right before arriving at Lake Annecy. But the real adventure started the next day, as we embarked on a two days through hike in the Alps. We will be doing the Tour des Fils from Lignon. On day one, we drove to the parking lot of Lignon and then started the hike. Day one will lead us to the alpine mountain hut of Mued en Terne after a 10 km plus 1200m gain and minus 300m altitude loss journey. The hike started going up through the forest with a first waterfall viewpoint. Quickly, we came to an intersection where we followed the Collet en Terne. Once the Collet en Terne passed, we reached a beautiful valley, in which we saw our first marmot. Further in the valley, we came across a stunning river, where we decided to stop for lunch. And of course, we couldn't resist and had to put our feet in the water, which was really cold, but it was so refreshing. After a while, we continued toward the Alfred Wills mountain hut, where we found toilets and water fountains. That mountain hut at such a beautiful location. Our journey was now bringing us to the Col d'Anterne with its 2257 meter altitude. So we were slowly hiking up, which gave us stunning views of the valley that was then behind us. We also saw another marmot sitting on a rock and enjoying the sun. Before arriving at the Col d'Anterne, we passed by Lac d'Anterne, where we wanted to make a snack break, and where we saw two marmots this time, not sure if they were playing or fighting. After escaping a herd of mosquitoes, we sat near the lake and enjoyed. Later, we kept on toward the Col d'Anterne, the last push of the day. The views on the Col d'Anterne were breathtaking. We actually stayed there for 45 minutes, relaxing with the Mont Blanc Massif in front of us. There, we also saw our first Alpine Ibex, and it was so close. On the other side, we also saw a Mama Alpine Ibex with its two cub. It was amazing. It was then time to hike down to reach the mountain hut of Mued en Terme. That last part was so fun, as we walked through a sheep herd. We finally arrived at Mued en Terne. 
it was time to relax with a well-deserved beer and then dinner. After we got our beds, it was our first time in a mountain hut dormitory. We took a shower and then enjoyed some more of the views. We even got a good night from the moon passing by the Peak du Midi. We started day two with a simple breakfast in the mountain hut. We then went out of the loop we were doing and headed to the lac de Pormenaz, which was only 25 minutes away. After some meditation by the lake, we walked back to the mountain hut and then continued the Tour des Fils. The trail was slowly going down until the small village of Ayer de Pierrières. From there, the trail slowly started going back up toward the Derochoir, which was the technical part of the trail. It was fun being within the landslice, and we were slowly going, to be sure to follow the trail marked with the red dot. But little did we know that it would become even more technical with a Via Ferrata-like trail. Once on top, we rewarded ourselves with lunch and the beautiful views of the Mont Blanc Massif. As it was getting hot up there, we decided to start hiking down. In the valley, we finally saw our first cows. We love to hear their bells. And a bit further, we saw our first chamois, and some more alpine ibex, as well as marmots. We were lucky that the chamois was waiting for the alpine ibex to go, which gave us time to admire it. A bit further, we stopped at the Refuge de Sales for a snack. They had a delicious blueberry pie and super tasty craft beers. After 
after that, we were again graced with a marmot show. Now, all that was left was to reach the parking lot through a beautiful trail with many waterfalls. Once back at our friend's place, we order some empanadas and chill the rest of the evening. The next day, we opted to do a bike trip around a part of Lake Annecy. It's super cool that a bike line runs for most of the lake. Our first stop was the public beach of Sévrier. Our second one was the Hell Swamp. For lunch, we stopped at the Bon Wagon. The Pokeball there was delicious. We then continue until the private castle and stop on the small part next to it, which is called the Castle Beach. The place was really nice, with lots of shade and the water fresh as well as easily accessible. Our next stop was the St. Joyous Beach, a more popular and more crowded public beach. Back in Annecy, we went to our friend's place and made dinner ready. We then drove to the Col de Forcla, where we parked the car, and then walked up to the paragliding launching zone for a picnic with a view of Lake Annecy. The next morning, we headed for the local flea market, had a brunch and then headed home after a beautiful time together with our friend Clara. <laughs> 